dear students assalamu alaikum i made this lecture video for my third year students according to their syllabus hope this lecture video will helpful for you all and as well as for the other students or persons who are interested on this topic in this lecture video i will discuss about heterocyclic compounds all of you know that in chemistry there are two types cyclic compounds one is homocyclic compounds and another is heterocyclic compounds homocyclic compounds are those compounds in which the ring forming every atom is same that is carbon for example benzene where the ring forming every atom is same that is carbon Heterocyclic compounds are organic compounds that contain a ring structure containing atoms in addition to carbon such as sulfur, oxygen or nitrogen as the hetero atom. But other atoms such as boron, phosphorus and silicon also be members of heterocyclic rings. The ring may be aromatic or non-aromatic. For example, pyridine. Here we can see that in pyridine there is a nitrogen in addition to carbon. So that nitrogen is known as heteroatom. The aliphatic heterocycles are similar to the open chain analogs ethers, amines and sulfides. The aromatic heterocycles are similar to other aromatic compounds. Now about the nomenclature of heterocyclic compound. IUPAC recommended replacement nomenclature for heterocyclic compound. According to this nomenclature, we have to add oxa if the heteroatom is oxygen. We have to add thia if the heteroatom is sulfur. We have to add aza if the heteroatom is nitrogen before the name of the parent homocyclic compound. Heterocyclic compounds are the derivatives of that parent homocyclic compound. For example, thiacyclobutene. In this compound, we can see the heteroatom is sulfur. And this compound is the derivative of cyclobutene. So according to this nomenclature, we can name it as thiacyclobutene. For numbering the position, in case of heterocyclic compound, we have to start from the heteroatom. That is, here we have to start numbering from sulfur but for this compound we don't have to number the position because this compound don't have any substituent if more than one heteroatom is present in a heterocyclic compound in that case we have to start numbering from oxygen first and the preference should be like this if oxygen then oxygen then the preference should be for sulfur and then for nitrogen we can see in this uh, structure it is the derivatives of cyclopentane and it contains two heteroatom one is oxygen and another is nitrogen so we have to start numbering from oxygen after that we can number either clockwise or anti-clockwise but for this compound we have to number the position of the atom as for anti-clockwise according to IUPAC system because if we number anti-clockwise in that case the number of the nitrogen will be less that is 3 according to this nomenclature the num name of this compound will be 1 oxa 3 as a cyclopentane there is another system for the nomenclature of heterocyclic compound which was developed by Hans Widman. That nomenclature system is known as Hans Widman nomenclature. According to this system, first we have to give the name of the heteroatom according to IUPAC system and after that we have to add some naming part according to Hans Widman naming system. Last part of the name is mentioned in the table according to Hans Widman. For example, if a heterocyclic compound is a three-member ring 
and it if it contain nitrogen as heteroatom and if the compound is unsaturated in that case the name of the compound will be azirin if that three member nitrogen containing heterocyclic compound is saturated in that case the name of this compound will be aziridin according to this system for example if the heteroatom is not nitrogen for example heteroatom is oxygen and the heterocyclic ring is four member ring and that compound is unsaturated in that case the name of this compound will be oxit if that compound is saturated and oxygen containing and four member ring in that case name of that saturated compound will be oxytin so from this table we can easily understand that how we can name the heterocyclic compound account according to hence whitman system still many heterocyclic compounds are known as according to the name using hence whitman system here we can see some example of three member heterocyclic compound so in that case we can see for some compound there is a one name for some compound with two name and some compound for three name actually for example for this compound this name is according to hence whitman system according this name is is a traditional trivial name and last one name is according to ipex system similarly for this compound that is thiocyclopropane the hensman hens whitman uh, system name is this uh, this that uh, traditional name and this is the ipex name so in this compound also we can see uh, hence whitman name uh, traditional name and ipex name this compounds also known as uh, hence whitman system this also known as uh, hence whitman system still many compounds are known as according to hence whitman naming system but we can name it that compound in ipex systems also and some other compounds also known as by their traditional name as well as by their ipex name here also we can see uh, some uh, example of a heterocyclic compound that is a four member heterocyclic compound oxacyclobutane thiocyclobutane azacyclobutane as a cyclobutadiene one as a cyclobutene so in this compound some are known as by their ipex name and uh, some are also known as by their hands whitman system name here also you can see some five member heterocyclic compound uh, maximum compounds are known as their uh, traditional or uh, trivial name but uh, we can name by ipex system and by hence whitman system also for example furan thiophen pyrrole tetrahydrofuran pyrrolidin they are known as by their traditional name here we can also see other uh, uh, heterocyclic compounds five member heterocyclic compounds containing two hetero atom actually uh, maximum of these compounds are known as by their traditional name so i will not mention all the name some for example imidazole uh, isoxazole thiazole pyrazole like this here we can see some example of six member heterocyclic uh, compound uh, some compound contain one hetero atom and some compound contain uh, more than one hetero atom those compounds are also some are known by traditional name or trivial name some are known by hence whitman system name and some are known as by their uh, ipex system name here we also you can see uh, some example of uh, six member heterocyclic compound some are 
containing uh, one heteroatom sum are containing uh, two heteroatom these are also either known by trivial name or Hansman Whitman system name or IUPAC system name but uh, these uh, in this space the maximums are uh, known as by their uh, tri trivial name but traditional name and some are known as by Hans Whitman system name here we can uh, see some uh, fused heterocyclic compounds like quinoline uh, isoquinoline indole they are uh, usually uh, famous uh, by their uh, traditional name here we can see the example of some heterocyclic compound with uh, substituent at different position for this compound this compound is 3 ethyl 5 methyl pyrazole actually uh, this compound is the derivative of pyrazole and pyrazole name was given by Hans Whitman system so according to this uh, system because this compound is the derivative of pyrazole and there is a ethyl group at 3 and methyl group at 5 position in that case this name of this compound will be 3 ethyl 5 methyl pyrazole in this structure we can see this is the derivative of indazole indazole was also named by Hans Whitman system and this compound is the derivative of indazole a methyl group at position 1 that's why this compound is known as 1 methyl indazole in this compound we can see this is the derivative of azit azit was also given by Hans Whitman system uh, and uh, there is a methyl group at position 2 of azit that's why the name of this compound will be 2 methyl azit and this compound is the derivative of isoquinoline isoquinoline is the traditional or uh, trivial name of this heterocyclic uh, compound and uh, there is a methyl group at position 3 of isoquinoline that's why the name of this compound will be 3 methyl isoquinoline in this structure we can see this compound is the derivatives of thiethen thiethen also named by hans whitman system and we can see in thiethen uh, there is a two methyl group one is at 2 and another is at 4 so we can name it as 2 4 dimethyl thiethen but we can see in this structure uh, the two methyl group one is transposition to another how can we understand that because we can see the bond one bond is shown here by bold line and another one is by bold dotted line so we know that if any bond show as a bold line it means that bond bends towards the viewer and if any bond is shown by bold dotted line it means that bond bends rear to the viewer so and this two methyl uh, group is opposite to one another that is they are in trans position that's why we can name this compound as trans 24 dimethyl thi eaten actually these are the example of a simple heterocyclic compound but pharmaceutically important heterocyclic compounds structures are very complicated and uh, very big structure many uh, cyclic heterocyclic ring fused together connected together and in that case uh, naming of this compound is a little bit tough but uh, no need to be ori uh, if we cannot uh, name the big structure or complicated structure we can use uh, some uh, software like a cam draw isis draw uh, using this software if we draw the structure we can get the iupac name uh, from that software automatically the easily uh, due to the uh, big complicated name uh, scientists usually uh, for th that type of compound they give some short name uh, like a 
traditional name and that compound is known by that name uh, to all so no need to be worry about the complicated structure now i want to discuss about the significance of heterocyclic compounds actually heterocyclic compounds are very important to us because two thirds of all organic compounds are aromatic heterocyclics and most of the pharmaceuticals are heterocyclic compounds that's why we have to know about heterocyclic compound we have to know about their physicochemical properties because most of the pharmaceuticals are heterocyclic compounds here i am showing some example of uh, pharmaceutically important drug those are containing heterocyclic ring in their structure first we can see the quinine we can see there is a heterocyclic ring there is a heterocyclic ring and all of you know uh, quinine is an anti malarial drug though better anti malarial anti malarial drugs are nowadays uh, used uh, for the treatment of malaria here we can uh, see the example of sildenafil which is used for erectile dysfunction and uh, which is very famous as viagra in this structure we can see there is a heterocyclic ring there is a heterocyclic ring there is a heterocyclic ring here we can see the structure of camptothecin analogs which is used for treating stomach and intestinal ulcer from this structure we can see this drug also contain heterocyclic ring another example of heterocyclic compound drug is irinotecan and another is topotecan both drugs are used for the treatment of ovarian and lung cancer and we can see their structure it contains uh, irino taken contain many heterocyclic ring it's a big structure big complicated compound and topotecan also contain uh, heterocyclic ring in its structure so here i showed a few example of heterocyclic compounds which have uh, significance uh, which are pharmaceutically important you can include other example if you want to include no problem i'll discuss about the remaining part of this chapter that is heterocyclic compounds in my next lecture videos if you like my lecture video then don't forget to click the like button you can also share this video to your friends and can also put your comments lastly don't forget to subscribe my channel your subscription will encourage me to make more lecture videos for you all thank you